Well, good morning, everybody. Today is July 14th, and one little off-topic thing I wanted to tell you is yesterday an, a fiber optic cable was broken or torn or severed here, but and both Juno and Sitka, everything was down as far as any kind of banking, uh, charge cards, nothing would work, and cash was king in Juno and Sitka yesterday, and I... The only reason I want to reiterate that is because we talk about the cashless society. And so just one event like that can wipe out cashless. Had I not had a couple bucks in my pocket because banks were closed too, I wouldn't have been able to buy any food yesterday. So again, we just want to reiterate the vulnerability of cashless society. Now today, and I really hope that everybody listened to his full interview because he does have solutions. I might mention them right now. He's saying, one, landline your telephone. Okay, watch. I'm going to show you something. Hold on. Bear with me. Okay. You see this world? This is a landline phone. This is my phone, and I love this phone. Okay, so he... He is recommending that everybody landline your phone at home. Turn off your routers in your home, okay? And you don't want baby monitors and these type of items. So he's saying at least to minimize the damage, uh, get rid of all wireless within your home. So if you're going to take that cell phone, and by the way, it includes mobile, home, mobile phones, remember that they are constantly putting out a signal whether or not you're using that phone or not. So you want to get a landline for your home, disconnect all routers in your home to protect all of you within. And by the way, as a neighbor, your wireless bleeds into my home even though I don't pur purchase any of any kind. I want to I don't want to get too sidetracked here, but we're going to go into the history and you need to understand what I understood from his interview is that this is an extermination program. 5G is about exterminating all life on earth, all life on earth, our world, so that they can bring in the robots and transhumanism and they can kill us off. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little history, but let's start off again with these very critical information about what 5G does to the body. Here we go. So hi, my name is Kevin Modis. I'm with the California Brain Tumor Association, but actually collaborate with 10 other groups. Uh, one of the groups is emfscientist.org, emfscientist.org. That's 220 doctors and scientists from 39 countries who have looked at health effects from wireless radiation. And from their work and the work of others, we can clearly say that wireless radiation can cause cancer, neurological problems, immune system disorders, and reproductive harm. Okay, so reproductive harm. Now, did you catch the part where they're telling us that the schools are now the most dangerous place to be? Literally. And these are the youngest, most vulnerable of our society. And it has to do with sterilizing them, but also affecting the brain function as well. I just wanted to point it out. Clearly, uh, our scientists, along with the other groups I work with, which are composed of people who are developing uh, wireless health effects um, from their various sources. For instance, people developing brain tumors from their cell phone and the radiation emits. Okay, and also for our children between age 13 and 29, brain cancer is the most prominent issue they're dealing with. Brain cancer people, come on. Uh, people developing neurological symptoms from the Wi-Fi, from school Wi-Fi. People developing neurological and cancerous health effects from simple smart meters. Smart meters being little wireless meters that are put on people's homes so that the people don't have to come by and read the meter themselves manually. So regardless of the source, and cell towers are the most powerful source of wireless radiation emissions, um, regardless of the source, the health effects can be the same. So what brings me here today is the rollout of 5G technology. And people need to understand that 5G technology is very different from 2G, 3G, and 4G that preceded it. And that is because the wireless radiation is using a higher frequency. Our current wireless technology uses about 1 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz. Um, this new 5G technology is ultra high frequency, ultra high intensity, and it's 24 gigahertz to 90 gigahertz. 
to put this in some type of perspective, 90 gigahertz is 90 billion electromagnetic waves per second hitting your body. We know people are already getting sick from the lower... Okay, so what, when I tell you that it's going to shatter the DNA, it is absolutely not an exaggeration. These are frequencies that we cannot handle. Okay, so now we're going to step back in time. Let's trace back who and where did this come from. Okay, let's start with this. Now, I'm not pinning this on Trump. That's not what this is about. But his uncle was giving, given the papers. Okay, so the connection between uh, Nikola Tesla and Donald Trump is his uncle. Uh, do we need another conspiracy theory involving the president? No. But this goes back to January 7, 1943, the day Tesla died in the Hotel New Yorker in New York City. Two days later, the Federal Bureau of Investigation ordered the alien property custodian to seize Tesla's belongings. Even though Tesla was an American citizen, Tesla's entire estate from the Hotel New Yorker and other New York City hotels was transported to the Manhattan Storage and Warehouse Company under the Office of Alien Property, OAP SEAL. John G. Trump, a professor at MIT and a well-known electrical engineer serving as a technical aide to the National Defense Research Committee, was called in to analyze the Tesla items in the OAP custody. Okay, so that's who got a hold of the files. And uh, let's see... John G. Trump is the late uncle of the current president-elect Donald Trump, and he died in 1985. But he had a known influence in 2016 on what voters thought of his new candidate. My father's brother was a brilliant man. We have very good genetics. It's just a comment. All right, so uh, would tell me many years ago about the power of weapons someday that the destructive force of these weapons would be so massive that it's going to be a cra scary world. Okay, so they knew ahead of time, and they do have the death ray. They were alleging about it. They have that. Okay, so basically, and I'll leave this link down below. We'll try to keep it streamlined. Now, where did those Tesla papers go, right? Where did they go? Into whose hands did they go? All right, let's take a look. They went into, voila, okay, first off, from robotic companies to wall climbing machines, the Israeli companies advancing robotics worldwide. They went into Israel's hands, the Rothschilds, okay? So I just want you to know. Israel and India to develop 5G technology together. This is August 2013. Now, India and Israel have agreed to work jointly on development of fifth-generation 5G telecommuted technologies. However, Israel has the technology and innovation. India has the capital and market. Okay, so the technology went to Israel. We'll back that up. Let's do another one. Okay, let's take another sh look to prove to you once again. Israel, India, team up to develop 5G. So who is exterminating the humans? Oh yes, I always get this. Who's exterminating the humans on this planet? Well, none other than the Babylonian Talmudic teaching bitches coming out of Israel. This includes Netanyahu, okay, the Rothschilds. It includes Jared Kushner. He's part of this gang, okay? So anyway, Israel has the technology and innovation. India has the capital and market. All right. So that's who put 5G together. And let's see. Shall I leave you with this just once again? I'm going to reiterate this message right here. Roll back. How are you? Good to see you. I missed you. Wow. I missed you. Uh, it wasn't the same in the States. Okay, now when you understand the American Technology Council, okay, so Israel got Tesla's papers and files. That's who's putting out 5G. You can bet they're going to be not inundating, inundating themselves, just us. And here is Jared in charge of the American, American Technology Council under the American Innovation Office. Jared is in charge of 5G. 
Okay, get the connection. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Uh, this is uh, an opportunity to pursue our common goals of uh, security, prosperity, and peace. Oh, yeah. And uh, Jared, I welcome you here in that spirit. I know of your efforts, the president's efforts, and I look forward to working with you to achieve these common goals. Thank you. The president sends his best regards, and it's an honor to be here with you. Well, okay, so he's there to fulfill these goals, the American Technology Council. I don't know that I need to say more, but we will dissect the American Technology Council as well. You need to understand. 5G is an extermination program of all citizens, all wildlife, and all animals of this planet. Every one of us will get cancer. No one will survive it. But these bitches will protect themselves from these frequencies themselves. Okay? All right. And we'll get back with the American Technology Council. I'm showing you the connection of everything. Who's assassinating us and killing our planet. Okay. Talk to you later, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.